Alright guys, welcome uh, to another Marvel Swag Force video. Today I want to talk about roster management with you guys. And I'm going to explain how you can export your roster to msf.gg and other uh, tools uh, that are very useful to use with your Marvel Swag Force roster. I'm going to explain how to do it to msf.gg in this video. And uh, we're going to do another one after afterwards uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, the Groot tools from Zara Tools. So it's going to be very easy. We're going to use a roster extractor, basically, which will just make screenshots from, uh, from uh, your roster from MSF uh, Marvel Strike Force in BlueStacks. Uh, and we're going to talk about how it's set up right now. So first things first, let's go to my second screen here. All right, so I have opened Marvel Strike Force here. I have Discord in the background because I want to explain some things to you. And I also want to show you how to get this. All right, so first things first. Uh, what this tool does basically it makes screenshots of your roster so you're gonna have to go through your whole roster and it will automatically make a screenshot for every character you have in there that may sound like a hassle but actually if you think about it it's pretty easy because you don't have to fill in your power rankings you have to fill in anything actually you only have to click once for every character so that makes it pretty easy right right I mean, come on, that makes it pretty easy if you ask me. So how do I get this tool? Well, first things first, you go to uh, your Zara tools uh, on uh, on Discord. And I'll paste this link in the description here. It's this, zaratools.me slash roster extractor. You're going to click that, you're going to download that, put it somewhere on your computer where you can reach it easily. And then we're going to go back to that tool in a second. Um, all right, so that's, a, that's an important part. You also need blue stacks. If you don't know how to do that, I will put a link in the description where you can get it. If you don't have it yet, uh, otherwise you have to you can skip this. Uh, just click the link in the description if you don't have BlueStacks, basically. So you have to do this on a Windows PC. You have to make sure your BlueStacks settings are correct. So that's also important. So if you go open BlueStacks and you go to your settings, make sure in display they are at 2560 by 1440 and the DPI is set to 240 DPI. This is important because otherwise the tool will not work. And also make sure your tool is not in full screen mode, it is in windowed mode, but try to give it as much space as possible and close this part of the window. All right, so I'm going to go to the folder. Uh, let's quickly, I think it's in here somewhere. Now let me quickly go through this. Uh, I just need to open the folder real quick. So make sure you put it somewhere on your desktop or somewhere easily accessible. Uh, so you can uh, uh, get into it as soon as possible. I'm almost there right now. So yeah, here, you go. here we go. I put it in here. Uh, so let's open this application. And it will open into this Windows DOS uh, lookalike uh, screen. So it will give you a few warnings. Uh, the first warning is, are you ready to proceed? Because they have like this whole thing about uh, it's not their fault if you uh, break the terms of service. So if you agree with that, you can press Y. I have used this tool multiple times myself over the... Uh, f uh, past few months and it's amazing I haven't had any trouble I even used the automatic mode I don't recommend using that though because you might get banned because of like the blitz bot thing so don't use automatic mode just use this I'm going to quickly open Hella in the meantime here uh, so it's already on a, on a tune then I'm going to press Y because I want to proceed I'm going to skip the debug mode and then it will ask me to do it automatically and in the meantime you probably had a pop-up for connecting your uh, uh, Marvel's uh, Strikeforce.gg, msf.gg account. So uh, I recommend you, uh, uh, it's also gonna be a link in the description for this, I recommend you set up an account for msf.gg because it really streamlines the whole process. You don't have to upload anything, it will just upload your, uh, uh, your msf.gg uh, uh, export basically to msf.gg, so it's already ready there. And then you can just pop it in and, and then you're ready and you're done with that. So that's amazing. Uh, so put in your credentials there if you have an account. If you don't, I will show you how to upload it anyway. So I'm going to press Y because if you press A, it's going to do it automatically here. Just pressing Y. It's detecting my emulator right now. And then I'm going to run through all the steps until I'm done. So basically, I go, I'm going to click here on Hella. And uh, to the next character, and it will show Tor, and then it will recognize Tor. As you can see, it automatically detects the shards, it detects the star and the red stars, this level, the power level, your abilities in them, even does the ISO classes they updated recently, and your gear to, gear to your level, of course. I already did this recently, so I'm not going to show the whole process, but in the end, it will automatically upload it to msf.gg, which is 
amazing. It's such a great tool. Um, so, when you have that done, you can go to msf.gg. Let's see if I have my browser open here. I'm quickly just doing this on my other screen. So, and here we go. So here we have msf.gg. This is the basic thing you get, but then if you are logged in and you uploaded it, you can click your roster here. And there we go. Everything is here. It's done. It's uploaded. We have Scream, Carnage, Anti-Venom. Everything is in as ex exactly as I saw it in my game. Like we saw Hella, for example. I am very close to, to getting Black Bolt to six stars. 15 more shards, as you can see in game. If I go back to Hella, I need 15 more shards. So this is all recently. I did this recently. So there we go. Hella is in there. If you didn't do an account for msf.gg, this is important. Uh, it will create some files in your roster organizer folder or your whatever folder you you, uh, you gave, whatever name you gave it to the folder. And there's a CSV file here, the roster export msfgg CSV file. If you didn't uh, put your credentials in, you click here on import. Hello, hello, there we go. And then you can get this, this pop-up and you can import it basically like you do with a regular Windows file. So that's also a way to do it. So make sure you to import the msfgg.csv file. So uh, let's go back to that. It's this file, roster export, uh, lowercase msfgg.csv. When you upload it, it will also do the same thing, but it's just easier to do it this way. You also get this roster export.json file, and this is going to be important for the next video because I want to split this up for other people. Uh, if you don't want to watch the uh, Google Drive version, basically this makes it easier for you to uh, uh, to go into the Google Drive version later. So you ne need to save this file. All right, so why would you do this? I ran through like all the steps right now. Why would you do this? Well, it's an basically a, a great thing for alliances. Like right now, I'm the only guy in my alliance on msf.gg. In game, we have actually a full 24 people alliance, but this is the way I'm going to tell them how to do this themselves. It's easy. Everybody should be able to do this uh, with, uh, with a few steps. And then we can put everybody in here and I can check out their roster as their alliance leader. I just have to ask them to update their roster once in a while with the Zara Tools tool, which is just easy and great. Of course, you could make screenshots, uh, but I prefer people to do it like this because we can easily see what people have for tunes, for war. And as soon as you get a war layout in here, which is over here, uh, so we have the war layout here and we can put people in here. Like uh, I can put myself in, but you can also put more people in there, which is awesome. So basically you can just see your whole uh, defense layout here when people fill in that, which you can do here on war defense. This is my war defense setup. So as you can see, I don't have too much too high tunes right now, but I'm just uh, starting like uh, under 200 days. So basically get your alliance in here makes it alliance management a lot easier for your uh, alliance uh, leaders. And it also is really nice for yourself because you have a lot of options on Discord with the bot. So if I go to my uh, my alliance uh, and I go to bot spam, I can, for example, here, like I did before, I uh, asked for a counter for black orders in two, for 200k in war. And it gives me a list based on my roster. So as you can see, uh, I don't have Phoenix, so it shows her as blank, and it says how much power I would need to go against that Black Order there. But for example, uh, with my Asgard, if I would counter an Asgard team, it would say like, oh, you have this power. Uh, for example, my Symbiotes is green. You can see here it's green. Because I have enough power to counter the team, but everything else is red because I don't have enough power to counter the team with that team, that, that specific team. And when you use that team, there's an easy command as well that you can just put into the uh, into the bot, and uh, that makes it makes it so that your team won't be able to be used on another counter list. So it won't won't show that that team because you already used it basically. So that's also a really nice uh, way of doing that. So again, um, let's go back to uh, this screen because I have talked about en enough here. Next video we're going to talk about the uh, Groot tools which is another way to manage your roster. I think that's 
even better than the, uh, than msf.gg because it also gives you a, a good farming guide for legendaries. It also gives you a, a good overview for your war defense. It gives you some blitz rotation teams, some uh, some raids uh, information. So we're going to talk about that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that everything is clear in here. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure to drop them in the comments. Uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And uh, there's also a link in my Discord down below. Uh, if you have any questions specific for me, uh, I respond early, uh, mostly respond earlier on Discord questions. And those can be specifically asked to me. Join the Discord. You can follow me uh, easier. Uh, and if, you, if there's any good questions, like uh, do you want to check out my roster, just drop them in there and I'll be able to take a look for you. Okay, all right. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and help me out here. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya.